Arthur's Birthday by Mark Brown Hi, I'm Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. Have okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. Said Arthur. Are you sure it's only Tuesday? See for yourself. Said Mother. Four more days until my birthday. Said Arthur. I hope everyone can come to my birthday party. What kind of cake should I bake? Chocolate. Okay, honey. Have a good day at school. And don't forget to hand out your invitations. Okay. Buster, can you come to my party? Asked Arthur. Are you kidding? Said Buster. Of course. Grandma's making chocolate cake. Said Arthur. I'll be there. Said the Brain. I love chocolate. How about me? You're invited, and Francine too. Oh boy, we can play spin the bottle. I have an invitation for everyone. Can you come to my party, Sue Ellen? I'd love to come. Muffy, can you come to my birthday party? Sure. When is it? Saturday afternoon. I can't wait. Oh no! This Saturday afternoon? But that's when I'm having my party. Said Muffy. Oh no! Said Arthur. You can't. Can't you change your party to another day? Are you kidding? The Rock Band and Pickles the Clown have been booked for months. I can't change my party either. All my relatives are coming from Ohio. No one knew what to do. Should they go to Arthur's birthday party or Muffy's? Wednesday before school, the boys had a meeting. I think we should stick together. Me too. But what about the girls? Who needs girls? The girls met out at the playground during lunch. Anyone who doesn't come to my party can't be my friend. But it won't be as much fun without the boys. Are you my friend or not? Thursday after school. Arthur and his mother picked out decorations for the party. Can we get the big balloons? That sounds great. <coughs> Can I help you? No, no thank, thank you. you. Delivery for Arthur. Thank you. Later. The delivery man brought a big box. Wow! This weighs a ton. In the mail, there were three birthday cards for Arthur. One was from Uncle Bud. When Arthur opened it, three dollar bills fell out. Wow! Some people have all the luck. Three whole dollars. Don't forget to thank Uncle Bud. Okay. On the way home from school Friday, Arthur ran to catch up with Francine. Wait! I wish you could come to my party. I promised Muffy, but I wish I could go to both. What's a party without boys? Wait a minute! I have an idea. <laughs>
That's great! I'll help! They ran to Arthur's treehouse. Arthur found pencils, paper, and envelopes. Let me write them. It has to look like Muffy's handwriting. Okay, but be sure there's one for all the girls. I think I've got everyone's name. This will be fun. That looks great. That night, Arthur told his parents about his plan. Early the next morning, Arthur and Francine delivered their notes. One to Prunella, one to Sue Ellen, and one to Fern. The last note they delivered was a special one. Dear Muffy, I have a special present for you. It is so big, I can't carry it by myself. Please come to my house today at noon to get it. Sincerely, Arthur. All done. See you later. I smell pancakes said Arthur when he got home. Your favorite, said Father. And maple syrup, all the way from Ohio, said Aunt Fanny. Happy birthday! Time for birthday kisses! And eight birthday hugs! Ugh. Don't forget a pinch to grow an inch! <gasps> Arthur stood by the window. It was almost noon. Someone's coming! He cried. It was Sue Ellen. What are you doing here? Asked Sue Ellen. What are you doing here? Asked Buster. It's a surprise for Muffy, said Francine, coming up behind them. It's a surprise for all of us, said the brain. Everyone, find a place to hide. Muffy will be here any minute. <laughs> She's going to be really surprised. Is she here? Is she here yet? Not yet. Oh. Shh! Here she comes. Hi, Arthur. I came to pick up my present. Surprise! Happy birthday, Muffy! See, I told you, your present is too big to carry. The rest of your party is on the way. After all, what's a birthday party without all your friends? This is the best birthday ever, said Muffy. We should do this every year. But next year at your house, said Arthur's mom. Thanks for the great surprise, Arthur. It just wouldn't be a birthday without everyone. Time to open presents. I picked this one out especially for you. You have to promise me you'll use it right away. Sure. I can't wait. Spin the bottle. Happy birthday, Arthur.
So long. I'll see you next time.